Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Alex and welcome to the rodeo. We're back it again. Today I have a very special guest. First time guest in the building, the one, the only, V Loners! Yes, sir. Uh, what's up? What's uh, up? Uh, How you five. doing? I'm good. What about you? Man, I'm How you chilling. Doing? I'm That's chilling, great. bro. First time guest, so you yes, know, sir. I gotta I gotta get the story on you. You know, mm -hmm. I gotta we're gonna talk about music you worked on, what mm -hmm. you got moving forward and all that good stuff. Yes, um, so where you from, bro? So I was born in Mississippi. I'll say I probably moved in 2015 to Texas, Pleasant Grove area. The and Grove. Like, Greedy Grove, Big yeah. Six Five. Free Free Wapo, Free Wapo. Uh but yeah, I say I probably I say I grew up right there. Like that's where I build myself at. Yeah, so, the, yeah, that's the memories you have and stuff like that. Or? Yeah, yeah. So Mississippi, you grew or you were born in Mississippi, born in Mississippi then you moved to Texas, Texas Pleasant Grove. Area. Got you, got you. And that's why I feel like I grew up it. Got you. But how I, were you? How were you as a kid? Were you so as a kid you were growing up in Mississippi, right? I say as a kid, were I, you always chill? Or I, I ain't say I was. I feel like I was. A, I wouldn't say I was no bad ass kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I say I probably was chill sometimes. Sometimes I was active. Like I feel like I, I was just a rough little kid sometimes. But I was like, I would chill sometimes. I feel like yeah. now though I'm more smarter and more chill though. But I, mm. but if I wanted to get like uh, rough or something like that, I could do that. Okay. But I know how to chill. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got you. Got you. But, so what what made you uh, come to Texas? Uh, out of all the places, my parents, my parents moved over. Oh, because of Mississippi, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like Mississippi, you can't, you ain't gonna get like. It takes more opportunities than Mississippi. Mississippi, it's just not there. It's it's not where you want to get rich. At. And what part of Mississippi? Greenville, Greenville. Greenville. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn, that's that's crazy. You're the, I think you're the fourth artist, but the fifth person that I have uh interacted with uh -huh. that they're from Mississippi. And I to I told this um to the last guy. I was like, the, all the people I meet from Mississippi that yeah. are here in Texas, they all have that hustle to them. Yeah, they all have like, that flow. I like hustling. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a big hustler. I got that from my dad, though. Yeah. My dad taught me how to get up and hustle, like get off your ass. I see y'all. Yeah. All right, let's get it type yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. Cause, uh, and it makes sense because, like you said, there's not that many opportunities in Mississippi. So, you know, you want to go where there's there's some flow going because you know you're trying yeah. to get into that that mix as well all right we ain't trying to be stuck around bro yeah get Ex up exactly. get some money yeah so you go you move to the grove uh how was it for you moving there you know what uh, did you expect first and then uh how was it growing up there i'll probably say for like the first six months there it was like strange because it's texas like i ain't i ain't know too much about texas like i ain't know yeah. that but like as it was like it felt it the more I stayed there, it felt like home. And like I started uh, learning people, knowing people. Yeah. Man. Was it easy? Was it easy to make friends there? Or was did it take time for people to man, really fuck with you? Like it that? was easy. Really? But like I feel like I feel like that's cause we was young though. You know, yeah. when you young, it's easy to make friends. Yeah. But I feel like now like it ain't it ain't high, high, high. like it's yeah. not like that no more. But I feel I still feel like like mm, I wouldn't say it's easy, but yeah, you can, you can, if you, if you know the right people, you, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. I feel like for sure the South compared to like, let's say you moved to like a, a New York or something, bro, yeah. it would have been more difficult. People would be more standoffish out yeah. there, you know, in the I South. I don't know nothing about New York. I don't know nothing Exactly, about exactly. Uh, the difference. So New York and the North, they have the, the like stereotype that everybody's just focused on their their thing. Just, you know, they ain't trying to really interact. Here yeah. in the South, we'd be like, oh, good morning. You know, how you doing? How's your day going? And shit like Man, that. Man, they'd be the old heads though. Yeah. I, I like that about the old heads though. Like they'll be like, hey, good morning. Some of them don't, but some of them do. I like yeah. that. I like that. I feel like that's how go be me when I'm old. I'm be like, hey, good morning, yeah. kids and stuff like that. Trying to make everybody day better. I like to do that anyway, make people day better. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I hate seeing people say like, mm. I hate people. I hate, I hate seeing people. Nah, but there's some old heads, bro. They be sour as fuck too, though. Yeah, what? They they be like, man, I've dealt with so much bullshit. Man, like, fuck man, it. fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they they ain't they ain't apologizing for nothing. Man, like, man, I, take it how you want it, type shit. You can be mad at them, but yeah. we don't know what they went through. Exactly. They've they been here. The we, stories that they have man, is crazy. What? Probably they've been living way longer than this. So you're you're uh, at the Grove. You're you're growing up there. Yeah. You know. When does the music come into play? Because it's different being a fan of music mm -hmm. and then now you actually 
making music? You know, I, how does that come about? All right, so in that area, I don't feel like nobody was rapping. And mm. I was real young, and I, I was I was outside. I was I, I had I had this little computer my grandma had, like she okay. had, and I was typing little beats and stuff. You know, when you got the little computer, you seeing you seeing rappers like this around probably 2016. You Damn. seeing you seeing rappers like Lil Uzi Vert. Man, I'm telling you that that era, like I can't nobody can explain enough. It was the for me my generation the yeah. best era of music. Like waking up seeing the new. Uh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, yeah. I'm saying, but like, man. And then my uncle, 2K. Yeah. Shout out to 2K. Shout like, out 2K. He, he used to rap too. And I'm like, dang, my uncle can rap. I probably can rap too. Yeah. And like my pops, like he'll probably be around the house freestyling sometimes. Or something. But mm -hmm. My dad don't rap though. But he'd yeah. be around the house freestyling for sure. But I feel like, I feel like me though, I feel like that all influenced me to, yo, to what yeah. I am now. But nah, yeah, the 2016 I love music, though. I was love a crazy music. era. Man, Freaking, what? you had Uzi, Playboy Cardi, Kodak, uh, Lil Yachty came out. You know, oh, all these people. All these people. Uh, even, I would say even, like, I would throw in 2017. Those two yeah, years that was, was, yeah, yeah, was crazy. You had X, Juice, uh, freaking uh everybody Dang, just coming Juice out. Word. I love you, were. Yeah, love it's you like, word. what the heck? So much talent. That that two years just stand out to you like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's, forever, it's never going to be another two years like that ever again yeah and I, i'm fine it started a it. whole different new wave yeah completely yeah. um yeah. so for you how was it whenever you started making music how was uh your friends and family and and uh people what they what they react to or did you take time to even show them the music or no nah, when i had made my fr like i used to always be on the youtube i'm telling you i always used to try to hustle some type of way yeah when i'm seeing people on the youtube getting one million views just vlogging themselves Bro, I'm telling you, I did everything. I had a little Android screen recording on the Android playing yeah. Minecraft and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Roblox trying to blow up, trying to find some type of way to make some money. Like, I feel like so many people could relate to that because we, we've all tried I'm it. I'm telling <laughs> you, like, what, what, what's your question again? I forgot. Like, uh, how, how did your uh, friends and family take right. it whenever you started making so, music? So, like, I remember it was in fourth grade. I used to go to Frank Guzzi, Frank Guzzi school. Yeah. It was, I was in the classroom. It was the my old humble named Demore, Demore. Okay. And I had wrote a little rap on the paper and stuff. And he had read, he was like it hard, but they was laughing at me. But they were laughing at me. We were little kids yeah. though, you know. So then I feel like in fifth grade when I started rapping, like it was really bad, but people knew that I rapped. Like it was bad though, so I ain't expecting to be like, oh, he hard rapper. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. But they knew though. Yeah. People, bro, like, Every time I'm in school, every school I went to, they know that I rap. Like they know. Mm -hmm. You were the one that, all right, you know, he, he knows how to rap. Yeah, He's for a sure. Rapper. I feel like I feel like when I learned, like when I feel like I was hard, probably like at the end, uh, probably like in sixth grade, because that's when I had made I had made a song called Fly. I'm telling you, like I dropped it. I'm telling you, everybody in school. Oh my God, Zay Wavy, Lil Zay Wavy, yeah. I like your song, man. I like it felt like I low key blew up, but it was. I was like about to say, local, how did that like, feel? Like it felt like everybody... I blew up, but I really didn't blow up though. But it yeah. felt cool. I was a little dude, man. That feel like <laughs> happiness. I feel nah, like yeah, I made for it. sure. And it, and that's dope that you're open with it and building your own foundation because yeah. I guarantee you, you know. People, they'll laugh and say like this and that. Because that's how it was whenever I started this podcast. They'll yeah. laugh and shit like that. But like, you know, now I run into people. It's like, bro, I watched your, your podcast, yeah. this and that. And like, I, I like your take on this. Like, And it's like, damn, they really be fucking with that shit, bro. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I, ain't, I don't really too much trip around about the hate and laughing. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Like, I don't care. Cause, exactly. bro, You're doing this for bro, you. I'm doing it for me. For my people. Yep. And I'm I'm telling y'all, it might not seem like it, but when we least expect it, bro, this shit gonna take off. Like I'm seeing yeah. it, like every day, pro progress, progress, progress is gonna take off, whether yeah. they believe it or not. Man, sooner or later, <laughs> sooner or later. That's all Facts. I gotta say. Facts. That's all I gotta say. For somebody who Me has never guys. heard your 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 music, how would you personally describe your sound? That's a good question. Make you wanna go get some money. There we See, go. a little ass young nigga, like, go get some, go get up, go get some money, go. I ain't gonna lie, I'm so tired, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta say some freak ass shit in the song, go fuck your bitch <laughs> or something. Go take a nigga bitch or something, you feeling like that? You know, yeah. if you sad, get up. If you sad, go get up and do something that make you happy. Do not just be sitting around sad, because it's not healthy for you. You mm -hmm. gonna, yeah, go yeah. get up. 
who would you say are your your top three influences whenever it came to music? You know, whether it be dead or alive, growing up, you know, your top three overall. Gotcha. Juice World. Take A. Take A. Take A. Uh, free Take A. Free Take A. Yeah, Free Take A. My top three. Juice World, Take A. A deal. Really? A deal. I love this singing. Man. What what uh makes these artists special to you, bro? Just for like, oh, bro, I ain't, I ain't even gotta say too much. Well, I was really really sad as a little kid, cause you know little kids go through little heartbreaks yeah. with a little girlfriend. Every time I listen to Juice World, he got me right out of it. Like I, I like his music, his lyrics. I feel so related, relatable to bro. I feel yeah. like me and him were like best friends or something. Yeah, and Juice World was like he still is like one of the best rappers to me. Uh, Tay K, I feel like as a young nigga, he would got all of us like active and stuff. Like, yeah. when you listen to him, he like, like, you go do some shit, you go, go get <laughs> yeah. active. But I, I know Crash dummy shit though. We smart. Uh, Adele, I like I like that type of music. Yeah. Like, I don't always like the vocals to, crazy. Yeah, right I don't man. like always to be around the rap. Yeah, like sometimes I want to come and listen to Adele. Smart. I feel you, bro, because like that you you see the albums like there's a variety of of music, you huh. know. And I like yeah. to be diverse with it. Yeah, exactly. I feel like if I got singing, rapping, rock, jazz, yeah. all that put together, I can make my own flows and stuff. You build it's a the, different whole different uh, sound with, instead of just the little bubble that you that man, you get with. stuck in. Um, but yeah, bro, it's crazy that that you say it because you got to be able to be diverse, you mm -hmm. know. And it's it's a funny story also with uh with TK. So like I said, you know, off camera, I was telling you, bro, I used to party all the time, like yeah. you know, go house parties, this and that. Yeah, bro, there was a house party. It was a crazy ass house party, like huge, huge house party. Tell me why TK performed at that house party. I swear. And it, I was just like. Oh, you know this this guy's rapping. That's cool. This and that. So you seen Take Yeah, like, I seen Take the And fuck? then like years later, or like no, probably like nine months later, you know, he just starts blowing up like crazy. And I'm oh, like, yeah, ain't no fucking way. Like, damn, Take K. I wanna I wanna meet Take K. Like, yeah. Like I, I I gotta pay my respect to bro. Like, yo. yeah. But like you said, the music like it gets you just yeah. It's like know? he know what he doing. Do damn, you, do you that, feel man. like uh, Juice World gets the credit he deserves? Not because like yes. he he passed away so young, so he was getting up there like you know the top top uh, dogs of the inter industry. Uh, do you feel like Juice gets the credit he deserves? Yes, yes. Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, I honestly feel like he's a legend. Even though he wasn't here long enough to quote unquote be a legend, I feel like we know we bro. Like it's some rappers you could tell that died. Like if they were still here, they wouldn't go be no legend. But Juice for real. The impact yeah. that he had, like, you cannot just sit here and say he went already coming up to a legend status. Dude, man, his numbers, his yeah. everything about it, his brand. Go, go, go. Now, yeah, that's that's a good take because, like, there's rappers that pass away all the time. And like you said, you know, RIP to them. But yeah. you know whenever somebody passes away, you're just like, damn, that. That person have it has it Man. like a, a pop smoke, like a X, like a juice roll. Man, you know? I gotta tell you, when I found out juice roll died, I was so fucked up. And, and like you said, it, it makes you feel like damn, like a like homie passed probably, away. That's shit. probably like the only death of a rapper I ever feel like, bro. Like, bro, you're actually it like, felt like I was the, over. You're you're actually the second artist that tells me that, and I'm like, wow, the impact of juice Man. from the the variety of people that listen to him is like, wow, that's. Man. Man, <laughs> it's cool though. You know, shit happened for a reason. No, nah, yeah. you were nah, nah, nah. R.I.P. R.I.P. For sure. So you know, you get into making music. You uh are are out here making the the tracks. What really keeps you motivated? Because you know, you have something right now, which is the youth. Mm -hmm. What really keeps you motivated to keep uh making music? Because I feel like whenever I was I was younger. Bro, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, this and that. What keeps you motivated with music? Sometimes I be broke. Mm. <laughs> and then I look at myself like, bro, I'm broke. Man, I get off my ass. I'm telling you, it got like, every time, and even when I'm not broke, I still get off my ass because I feel like, damn, what if all this shit go away tomorrow? You know, like I always, like, yeah. I just love music. Though. Like I'm never gonna. I, I ain't gonna lie. It was like two times in my career where I said I'm gonna stop making music because I feel like it won't work enough. Mm. Like it would be like a thousand people would see the video, right? And they'd probably only be like a hundred of them like it. Mm. That would be so like discouraging 
Yeah, like, yeah, I feel like they would just yeah. watch. Man, I stop caring. They go see at the end of the day, if they see it, I'm doing something. And if they yeah. not liking it, I'm doing something right. I'm going to make it. Like, mm. at the end of I'm going to make it. It ain't no if, ands, or buts. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and it's funny that you mentioned that because I be seeing that, too, with some of my videos. You know, the percentage of people that watch it compared to the people that like it, compared to the people that comment. Yeah. Bro, it's like. Come on, bro. Like, at least man, comment or something. Man. But like you, you said. I'll be trying to support until you really, I'm telling you. Until you, you make blow it. up. Yeah. That, that's when like, they. Damn, I've been uh, fucking with you, bro. Man, like, what? <laughs> man, you been watching me. Yeah. Man. Yeah. People, are, lots of people are sheep. As soon as, as soon as the, the yeah. herd gets they along like with it. They're like following trends. They're like, oh, man. Yeah, I already knew from the they gate, like bro. Tra- I want to make trends. That's what I want. I want to make trends. I don't want to follow them. When I was young, I used to follow little trends, though. Mm. But as I grew up, I'm like, bro, I can do this. I can be a boss. Gotcha, I can be gotcha. a boss. I'm not going to be none of these follower ass. Uh, you can't be. be and that boss. that's what makes you stick out because be next thing you know, you just fall in line with everybody else. Um, What would you say is your biggest accomplishment up to this point with the music? You know, I know that you're, you're still young in the game with it. Mm-hmm. But what's your biggest accomplishment that you look back and you're just like, damn, bro, I can't believe I accomplished that. I had my first show this year. Oh, how'd that go? Friend, man, it ain't gonna lie. The crowd, it was okay. Yeah. But I feel like I still had my first show. It's some rappers that can't even get shows that's been rapping long, rapping longer than me. Yeah. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> that's like, facts. Even though it wasn't the best, I'm so grateful for it because I know, bro, like, I have so many opportunities. I'm going to take them all. Take them all. And how did the show go? How how was it whenever you you stepped on the stage and it, I was kind of started nerd. rapping. I was kind of nervous, but after I heard that beat drop, man, I turn yeah. up, turn up. I, like I, I probably only be nervous for like ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's more the the antip- anticipation of of yeah. doing it. You know, yeah. it's like those little like it's like once I'm in and I'm in and I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Nah, hell yeah, yeah. bro. I feel you because it's funny because I be doing podcasts for almost two years, but like I still get those like. Fuck yeah, let's fucking do this yeah. shit type shit, you know? And it's it's dope because, it. like, you need that. You need that. It's, you got to have it. Yeah, because then it starts feeling like a job. It starts feeling like the same routine, and you just can't be doing that shit. Yeah. Um, so, first show, you know, what would you say are three cities that once you get to that point, you're, you're touring, three cities anywhere in the world, you'll be like, man, I'd love to to go uh, perform there. Miami. Miami. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell you, dude, we just say, uh, Texas. Okay. Where, uh, where Rolling Loud be at? Oh, in Miami. 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 Oh, Miami. Oh, so Texas. you want, you want to do a Rolling Loud set? I, I want, me and my guys, we got to do it. Uh, that will be crazy, bro. Miami, Texas. Dang, what's another place? A crazy, so crazy, bro. A crazy, got to be crazy, like. Probably overseas or some shit. Dubai. Ooh, Say that. Yeah. <laughs> Dubai, a show in Dubai. That'll be fucking. I'm lit, feeling bro. too high. I'm fucking your wife. Get hit with a knife, lame man freestyle. Uh, Hawaii, two K, two K performing Hawaii. Oh yeah, yeah Hawaii. bro. Two K has that Hawaii ties for sure. Man, wait, Pfft. too big. <laughs> what What are some lessons that you've learned, uh, from the game that you're just like, I wish I knew whenever I I started, you know, um, that you could share with somebody who wants to start. Or someone who is also in that point but hasn't gotten to where you're Bro, at. You gotta like I know every rapper say this. You gotta keep going. Like keep going. Don't stop. Like I'm telling you, I f- I swear to God, I feel like you. I feel like how you feel before. You gotta keep going. Like I I wish somebody sat there and told me you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Cause some days I slacked off. I wish somebody was right there to tell me, Hey, get up, man. You ain't rich yet. You ain't rich yet. Keep going. If you if you really really deep down want this, you gonna keep going. So I'm telling you, keep going, keep going, keep. Please keep going for me, for you, for your people, for the people you love. Keep going. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Gotcha. Ain't no stop. Ain't no <clears throat> breaks. All gas. Yeah, and there's gonna be days Exotic you gas. feel. <laughs> there's gonna be days that you feel like, man, fuck this shit. Yeah, you gotta overcome it. Yeah. Show you how strong you is. I be overcoming them days. I'm strong. Nah, yeah, you got to at the end of the day. Uh, what is your What is your thoughts on the state of of hip hop and music overall right now? You know, you talked, you mentioned 2016, 2017. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts right now? 2022. Do you like the way it's going? Do you uh, what, what 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 do you have to say about it? Like, 
I'm be so straight up about it. I feel like music just it's just going. Like it's coming and going. Mm. But I feel like soon, I don't know how soon, I feel like it's gonna be that little era coming back again. Not like 2016, but yeah. it's gonna be the new era. Like, There's something era. bubbling, right? Yeah. Like I feel like it's just bubbling up. Yeah. Bubbling up. But like it's been this new uh this new quote unquote SoundCloud era. They've been going hard like Baby Santana them. Baby Santana. Uh Cash Dummy. Cash Dummy hard. Uh Young Chris and them. Like yeah. they I feel like that wasn't the era though. I feel like they just all blew up around the same time. Mm. But yeah. Ken Carson them and Playboy Cardi. That play, Ken Carson play with Cardi. I fuck with Playboy Cardi. Man, that like like the stuff he do is like yeah. shit we don't do. He different. Yeah. And he don't give a fuck. Bro, and he's selling out freaking arenas. Arenas, bro. bro. Motherfuckers. Just know like a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Man, you ain't never seen that before. Man, yeah. man is a real life rock star and don't care. Like that's inspirational to me. He don't care. I don't care. I feel like Playboy Cardi's the impact on the underground is crazy too. Yeah. You see so many people. Young boy too though. Huh? Young boy too though. Oh yeah. Young boy too. You Young saw that got he got like the 60 mil contract? Man, what? That's wild. Give my man a honey meal. Yeah. Yo, I be a honey meal. I feel like some some I mean, artists bro. are jealous of the fan base he has. Yeah. Because they fucking But he had hard. to build that though. He didn't yeah. always have that. Man, them people ain't like YB at first. I still don't like him. Nah, they still keep on trying yeah. to try to keep him about the industry and shit. Yeah, YB the GOAT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of his songs he's talking about like uh, like that, how like, fuck it, I'm doing my own thing type shit, you know. I don't need nobody. Yeah, don't need nobody. So you you mentioned both Playboy Cardi and and Young Boy. Mm-hmm. You know, for you, so, someone who's younger, what what do you think is so special about those two artists? Because they're both so different, but the the way that they have the youth on their in their palms is like crazy. Yeah. You know what makes those two so polarizing, different, but likable? It's cause they both got they like they both got their own type of ways and like some similar to both of them. Like they just don't care. Both of them don't care, and that's like what's so like cool about them. Like they don't. They don't care what we think. And then every time they do do something new, it's like, dang, where he get that from? Like, where he come up with that? Like, yeah. Mm. But yeah, for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. I feel like, I feel like it's just something we ain't seen before. Basically. So it's so different that you're just, you're drawn to it in the sense of like, what the heck's going on right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. It's like hard not to, it's hard not to pay attention to it. Nah, yeah, that's true. That makes sense, especially with Playboy Cardi, like you said, something yeah, completely he different. crazy. Like he be getting in character, <laughs> like straight. Man, really, like yeah. he'll really like dress up as a vampire and scream on the stage. That's like at a performance. Yeah, that's like so. Like yeah, that's turned. Like and yeah. people, people judge him. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of that, he's selling out arenas. Dude, it's crazy because I was watching the Rolling Loud live stream, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I was watching, they've been coming for Polo G's, talking about he's not a good performer, this and that. Mm. And then um, there was 3,000 people watching the Rolling Loud live stream whenever uh, different artists were on. Mm-hmm. As soon as Playboy Cardi hit stage, that went from 3,000 people watching to 30,000 viewers. Wow. I was like, yeah. what the heck? And it's like, like you said, he's a performer at the end of the day. Yeah. His shows, the way, the energy, the way he controls the crowd is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, for you, do you ever take anything from that, like looking at different artists and how they perform? Yes, from you know? those two, from Young Boy and Cardi, like the way they don't care. Yeah, I, I feel like I got that from them, like not mm. caring with people doing your own thing. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever sign? Everybody, hold on, everybody not gonna like what you do. Oh yeah, you gotta deal with it. That's fact. So? At the end of the day, like you'll you'll be more happy doing what you like. Right, you your know? life, live it. Because it's only so long you can stay fake, man. You know, it's only so long you can wake up every day, put a mask on. You're just like, man, F this shit. <laughs> now, um, so for you, do you ever plan to sign or stay independent? Are you opposed to, to signing to a label? That's a good question. What are your thoughts on that? I feel like I feel like I'll sign if it's like right. Like if it's not right and it sound like mm. cause I feel like every deal is like a uh you know. Yeah. But like if the deal like sound right and I f- yeah, I'm gonna take the deal, but I, I feel like I'm building my own type right now. Like I'm building my own label. Like I want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. What is, What does the label have to come with in order for you to to say it's this is the right deal? Uh, probably like amazing marketing. Mm. I, I'm like really big on the marketing stuff. Like 
If y'all know how to market, mm, yeah. Oh, they got a cone with. Hey, that's a, if I, if they come with big money, you gonna have to pay it back. So yeah. So know. pretty much you're looking at the other aspects of, like you said, marketing, um, even like playlisting, yeah, which is yeah, huge. Yeah, on Spotify, like yeah, like that playlisting on Spotify, it can really get you out there. Like, oh, I forgot, you know, he. Yeah. They like, he literally like, uh, he blew up. They put that man on the Spotify playlist, kept going up, kept going up, kept yeah. going up. I'm like really watching it with my own eyes. The numbers keep going up. Like that's crazy how you can really just go up for marketing, bro. Yeah, that's like, facts. That's facts because I literally today just watched Academics. He has uh, his podcast, right? Mm -hmm. And he interviewed, um, I think the guy's name is Carl something. Like I forgot his last name, but Carl. He's the main one that curates the Rap Caviar Spotify playlist, which is the biggest hip hop playlist uh, that there is. You know, you you get on there, your streams are going up. Right. And he talked about that. He talked about how uh, Nardo Wick, someone someone sent the file of uh, of uh, his song, and he he really liked it. So he put it on this playlist, which is for unsigned artists. Yeah. He started. Uh, you know, killing it in that playlist. Mm -hmm. He got into a bigger playlist and then another one. And then Rap Caviar was able to pick him up. So it was like a small little increase every time. But like mm -hmm. you said, just like how Yeet moved up in the playlist and yeah. it started like blowing up, same thing happened with him. And he talked about the importance of like, you know, being able to stand out. But it is hard whenever it's uh, independent, independent artists because there's so many other playlists for signed artists compared to for independent artists. Right, right. You know? At the end of the day, it's, it's business, like you said. You I know, feel like... I the feel label like, is going to want their money back either way. Right. That's why I um, pay, make my own label. But what I'm going to say, though, about the playlist stuff, I'm going to be so really about it. Like, I feel like it's it's really biased or something like that. Like I feel like it's the new radio type shit. Yeah, but I don't like it. Like, I feel like they based off what they like and what, like, yeah. probably what other people might like, too. But I guess they do have separate play playlists for that. Like, they got the country playlist. They got the rock playlist. Yeah. So, if you don't like hip-hop, go to rock. Different. But I feel like for the, like, the playlist that's go the playlist that's going to blow you up, yeah. I feel like they kind of, like, biased about it. No, yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you got to you gotta understand that. Like, I feel like, you know, if a label, they have... They they have Drake and they they have the weekend they have yeah. Post Malone this and that, like say that they really want to push a certain artist yeah that's what they, they could leverage about. that and be like, hey you don't you don't put our artists on there mm -hmm. we're gonna take these other artists oh, from that right. so you know the leverage, all got the leverage with marketing, is crazy you know? I all got something to do with marketing you know? like, yeah do you feel like artists up and coming artists take marketing as serious as they should no mm. I feel like I didn't take it as uh. I feel like I didn't take it as serious as I should at first, but now I really, like, I really, I be watching, like, YouTube videos about marketing yeah. and everything, like, like, I, I really, like, learned, like, I... What made you, learn. what made you actually start doing the research? So, it's, like, YouTube is, like, academics and other hip-hop, like, they be talking about numbers and screens and stuff, and I'm like, mm. dang, it wouldn't be bad to learn about this type of stuff, like, and the plus I'm trying to make my own record label and stuff, I might as well, yeah, start learning early, yeah. It just, I just want to know it all. Not mm -hmm. trying to be like the smartest person in the room, but I want to make sure I know. Yeah. I know. I know what's going on. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, this is a music business. Yeah. And I feel like a lot, a lot of artists just focus on the music part mm -hmm. and they get screwed over with the business side because, like right. you said, it's not just about you just being a know-it-all. It's like you got to know what, what you're getting into. As yeah, well. they're right there. You know, so, you know, that's smart that you're doing that right now because... We seen year after year contracts after contracts just yeah, getting crazy. screwed over, bro. Man, wait, like, then damn. they go right to the Instagram crying. You knew, <laughs> yeah, like, you knew what you was getting yourself the labels. Into. <laughs> da, da, da. It happened so many times at this point. Like if you're signing, you know what's gonna happen. Like, and yeah, nah, yeah, yeah that's true. Um, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so you know we're kind of halfway through 2022. What's your plan for the rest of the year? What key are working. we getting into in key the working. sense? Key working, stay consistent, keep hustling, keep hustling, keep hustling. Mm. Any projects, any music videos, any any uh singles? What what are the plans do you have for that? I say uh any other shows, any other things going on. That's what on? I'm trying to do. I had a manager, but me and him fell out. He he was supposed to be getting me some more show, but you know we just fell out. Yeah. Uh two albums I'm finna drop soon, I'm finna drop Jug Baby. 
and I'm finna drop a collab album with PBG Zo uh, called Brothers in Crown. Mm. It's like which, part, one, which one's coming out first? Uh, Jug Baby. Jug, Jug Baby. Baby. So yeah, I'm gonna drop that. Probably like two music videos from that album and from me and Zo album. We we were supposed to like actually shoot shoot a video today, but he couldn't make it. You know. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, gotcha. but probably I'm trying to get a video with him for our album too. Try, I'm gonna try. No, oh, yeah, that's done. dope. That's good that you're working too because mm -hmm. I feel like also artists they kind of get into that that uh, tendency of holding on to so much music before they they get so big, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you gotta build your catalog as well. Yeah. Yo, because, and I'm trying to connect with more people too. I feel facts. like making connections can get you way bigger. Like, yeah, because now you have access to their fan base. Right. You know, a couple of their fans they hear you're you're on the track and they're like, "Dang, I kind of fuck with him." Right. All right. Let me go check out his music. Now right. you got them as a fan as well. Right. And some people be scared to be social. Man, bro, if you don't get up and go talk, like you don't even gotta get up. Sometimes you can just go on Instagram. Yeah. You can just follow somebody on Instagram. They gonna follow you back, text them go from there all right so you know you've been here in texas uh you're an artist as well yes, what are your thoughts on the dallas fort worth music scene what do you like mm. what do you don't like i feel what like are your thoughts overall i feel like it kind of went down mm. when uh dally dfw scene yeah i feel like when yeah yo got locked up murder game pb he's still hard but i don't just i don't see him as much as much uh pmg guy he hard but he stays going to jail. Yeah, too. that's that's what happened. He keep going to jail. Uh Tay K he went to jail. Yeah. Uh Splurge still going crazy. Who else? Who else? Lissy Jackson, you know, he's still putting in work. Yeah. I feel like he's the most consistent out of yeah, everybody. Yep. Just, yep. You always see him also on feet. He moves a little shit. smarter too. He moves smarter than them. Mm. Like he don't be going crash them and stuff. Yeah. Lil Ronnie. Ron so you really still be like really tapped in with the yeah, music. Yeah, I'm tapped right? in. Yeah. Yep. I pay attention. Gotcha, I pay attention. Gotcha. And so you feel like it's kind of like numbed out in the sense of yeah. I like, feel like it's just not as popping as it's supposed to be. Like, uh, like it's supposed to be way bigger than what it is right now. Mm. And I feel like I feel like me and my little group that's coming up. I feel like we gonna bring it back up mm. if we keep going. We gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. What? Do you, what? Do you, how? Are, how is it possible that we could get it back up in that sense? Because. That's so, it's such a good point. Like you brought up so many good artists that that just either, they either got locked up or passed away or like just kind of buzzed out. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, how can we get that going again? Cuz Dallas is huge. Like yeah, the, the, huge. the Dallas Fort Worth area is huge. We just got to get back in motion. It's no motion. It's nothing. Mm. I mean, like and I feel like uh I feel like the flows mm -hmm. we got so used to it that like you know who Jace is? Jace, yeah. Yeah. He came out with like, he he from here. And his flow like real different. So he had blew up. Now, if everybody, like, you ain't got to totally switch the flow up, but give us something new different. for Dallas. Like, yeah, you can still be like the little same beats, but the little same punching in flow. Like, you got to switch that up. That's what I've been trying to work on too, my little punching in flow. Like, that's why I listen to different stuff too. Like, all that different stuff can be put into like one and be a, Amazing creation. Yeah. Like you take a little bit of the good stuff here, the good yep. stuff over here, and make your own stuff. Right. Then then you you really are a music fan in the right. sense because like the people that you've mentioned, even Jace, like he just dropped he just dropped an album and I haven't checked it out yet. I but heard, like, I heard. but uh for you to even be like tapped in with certain artists I'm that are coming up in. and stuff. I'm so tapped in. <laughs> you know, not not just your own bubble of like, you know, okay, only this artist. Is who I fuck with this and that. Right. Um, do oh. you feel like the blogs or even you know I would throw myself in there with the podcast? Do you feel like we do enough? Do you feel like we do enough for the artists to get you to that spotlight? You uh, know, in the sense of the blogs and the podcast, the media yes. overall. I feel like y'all do. I feel mm -hmm. like y'all do y'all job, and I feel like some rappers really be mad at y'all for doing y'all job, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's lame because you beefing with the wrong people. Why you mm -hmm. beef with the blog? I feel like. It's sometimes some vloggers, some bloggers be doing messy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but like they be choosing sides. Okay, okay, okay. And that's weird. Why you choose side? You a blogger? Stay, stay. Yeah. No disrespect. Stay in your place. Nah, yeah, that's facts. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, I'd rather get paid from both sides than, right, than just right. One. Like, why you choosing one side? You making yourself a target. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest obstacle 
um, that you have to overcome in order to get to that next level of not just being a local Dallas artist, but regional, even global overall? What's, what's uh, the next step to get you to that point? I, I got to keep connecting. Connecting. Keep connecting. Like I ain't, I don't be traveling, but I feel like if I if I ever get a chance to start traveling and start talking to more people as I travel, I'll probably start growing some more and some more and some more. But like like everywhere I go, I will probably meet a new person. I, I'm, I'm, that's a new screamer. That's a new listener. Yeah, mm. I feel like I just gotta keep connecting though. Keep connecting and keep dropping. Keep dropping. Yeah. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Good question. A boss. I'm a boss. I'm already a boss. Yeah. And we talking about whether it be with the music, you, you mentioned the label. What are what are some of the things that, that you want to accomplish within five years? What do you see yourself oh, doing? I wanna you know how a young boy get like a million view, a million views every time he drops. That's how that's how I want it to be. Bro, more, he more. he could drop at three in the morning yeah. and people just Man, six hours later, a million views. That's yeah. how I want that's why I want to that's how I want it to be for me and my guys. Everybody. Like I want to make sure all of us eating. Like make sure all of us, like I'm doing it for me, myself, my my family, my team. Yeah. Like doing it. Like we gotta keep going. And like and like I feel like some people that just not on that type of time get left in the past. If you not trying to like go get it, bro, get left in the yeah. past. I ain't sorry about it. You had your choice. <laughs> nah, that's facts uh, though, because. Uh, you know, those people will be the the people that kind of bring you down as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, I, I, don't do that, I be bro. trying. I be trying to save them, though. I ain't yeah. going to say I just give up on them. I be trying to save them. But if I can't save you, mm. Mm. let go. So you did mention a, a album, Chug Baby. Yes, sir. Um, what's the mindset going on to, with that album? <laughs> you know, what can we expect? You know, um, Jug Baby. A little bit. Talk to me a little bit about the, the album. I feel like I'm a Jug Baby. Yep. It's kind of like that. I don't want to say too much. <laughs> I don't. Well, uh, what day or do you have a certain uh, date that you want to drop it? Honestly, it's supposed to drop today, but uh, I feel like I uh, submitted it too late for it to drop today. Oh, so. okay, yeah, yeah. But it should, it should, it's dropping soon. It's dropping soon. Yeah, it's dropping. Soon. So it's already done. Yeah, it's ready already done. Go. It's ready to go. But the album I'm working on right now, the one with PBG Zone, uh, that's the one I'm excited for. Though, okay. was like my probably my second collab tape. Yeah. And that's with my cousin, so we you know we got chemistry yeah. already. That's my guy. Like, I really wanted him to be here though. Yeah, cause I'm trying to get me and his name out there. Yeah, yeah, and that's dope because especially whenever you do it with, with family, it's just like yeah. hell yeah. But we both up, you know. Yeah, wait, that's like such a accomplishment. I remember one time uh, we and him had dropped like our second song. Yeah, and you know, like Spotify, you can put your song on like the little playlist and stuff yeah man our song got put like on the playlist at like place 124 but it's like a thousand songs on there so for our song to be at like 124 Dang. like that's like so good like we were real life happy yeah. like man I'm, I'm glad he started like making music too though i'm uh, glad he started making music that's dope though like because it, it's very hard you know in the creative space mm -hmm. you know with motivation with uh, new ideas with this and that so it's good to have like a good team right, around right, you because right. you know if you slack off or some shit like that, like they'll bring you back up. Like, come mm -hmm. on, bro, you step it up. Or you know, you probably have that friendly competition also whenever y'all make music. Like, man, I can't slack off. I, I feel know like I feel like the only person I had that like at that little competition was my big bro, uh, Jay Simi. Like, yeah. you know, when me and him rap, I'm telling you, like we both hard. Like he be like, dang, you trying to be hard. I'm like, dang, you trying to be hard. Me, we just both keep going harder, harder, harder. Like, yeah. but I'm younger than him, though. They ain't got nothing to do with it. But, like, I feel like I learned from him a little bit, too, though. You grow faster, too, yeah, in I the sense faster. of, like, the craft because yep. that push you. That man. pushes you more. I like I like the craft. Because you, you're like, yeah, man, I can't get burnt on my track right man, there, man. what? Man, go back in and go crazy. Yeah. Uh, harder than ever. <laughs> you got to. So once it's all said and done, what is the legacy that you want to leave behind? That's a good question. Legacy. I want to leave behind. What you mean by that though? Like, like, whenever you know, once it's all said and done, whether it be you're old, you're you're gone. Whenever they say your name, you know, what do you want people to say? I want to say, I want to say that I made sure I helped people out. I made sure I helped myself out. That don't like, don't be super duper like. 
dang legacy like my i want to be an influencer too like i want to influence young old people to like go get some money like go hustle mm -hmm. like that's i don't know that's just my little motto go hustle go get some go go get some every day go get up go outside go try some yeah. go try some you know deal for something like that you might like it that sounded weird <laughs> 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 that's how they weird hold on but go try things bro go go hustle go hustle go hustle go hustle nah yeah you go got to me. you know who really uh whose music really got me into that mode who you know uh young Dolph. yeah i was just for to say that shout, he, out, shout out Dolph. my bro, my, my pops had put me on young Dolph. he put me on like when i was really i used to ride yeah. in the car with him and stuff you know he had a music all that and stuff yeah. young Dolph probably uh Gucci man, Gucci man. Gucci. For sure. I'm telling you, that's all he bump. Yeah, man. <laughs> all he used to bump. All he used to bump. He Gucci. probably he I probably listen to like ESTG or something like that. No, though. Oh, okay, got yeah. you, bro. I grew I grew up on Gucci from Trap God One, Trap God Two. I wouldn't say I grew up on him, but I heard him a lot. Yeah, just yeah. off my pops stuff. No, yeah, yeah. I started sure. listening to him more recently too, though. Who? Oh, yeah. Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. The thing he's done, even even I would say even also like. uh Yo Gotti with CMG, you know the the roster that he has is crazy. How, is that how is that kind of how you see your label in the sense of like, you know, building such a great roster, whether it be female artists, uh, yeah, you know, probably, probably, you know, he has Money Bag, he has ESTG, uh, he just signed what's her name? She, she has the Glorilla. Well, really. Yeah, yeah, F and F girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, this. She this lit, she hard. She yeah, really yeah, hard. She, it's another uh, another girl too. They had a mistress. Uh. Her, K Carbon is her. Oh, it's them yeah, too. Yeah. They hard. K, K Carbon hard. She, didn't Pusha T sign her? K no, I don't think he signed her. I think she with the gang, Chopper gang. Oh, for real? Yeah. She, oh, she been shit. in their videos and stuff. Yeah. Like Cause I, I I dead ass saw a post yesterday. Like uh, he he posted on Instagram. Yeah. He was like, if y'all really fuck with me, go follow her. Uh, just sign new artists and that. Mm. And then uh, Big um, Dirty, he posted it, her too. But yeah. then, like you said, you she know, been she, in that video been, though. She been active with him. She's been doing so, it. She hard. Where do you see? Where do you see music ten years from now? Is, is it gonna be crazy? <laughs> crazy? Like seriously? Like I'm telling you, like right now we feel like we ain't gonna find nothing new. Yeah. Some of these producers, some of these rappers, go find something like crazy that we never heard before. Like, do you feel like there's gonna be a lot more mixture of genres as yes, well? Yes. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. But I feel like it's good, <laughs> or more upbeat stuff, or yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Because it seems like the temples are are getting like. I just want music to go back. Oh, for real! <laughs> I just want to go back. Um, but I still like this type of music too, though. But I feel like the. I mean, we all say we all like the old music better, but like, yeah. man, I just love the twenty sixteen music, two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen, two thousand sixteen music. But yeah. I feel like music ahead from now, like it's gonna be crazy. I feel like I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like. It. I love music. I don't, I don't think nothing really trash, but I don't. I don't really be thinking songs trash. But I feel like if I don't like it, I just don't like it. I don't think it's trash though. Yeah. I feel like no artist like trash. It's just I don't like it. Mm. You no. Know? Yeah, and I feel like that's you as an artist too. You know, you know the work that comes in with making music and stuff like that. Right. Um. And it's it's so funny because like, like every three to five years, like older people always like, man, that's trash. Like that music's yeah. trash. And then I like, feel like I feel like I'm not gonna be that type. Of <laughs> You're not gonna be the old head. I feel like, like I'm not. I feel like I'm gonna be lit with the youngest. Yeah. Like for real. Like I'm gonna be that. Yeah. Get lit. Yeah. Cause I remember as a kid, man, you can't be mad at the kids for liking for liking what they like. Yeah. Like when you was a kid, you used to like what you like. Your mama probably ain't like it. Cause they used to probably listen yeah. to jazz or something. Yeah. What the heck is this? Right, yeah, like, man, you can't, man, I'm gonna get lit with them. Better get with the mo, get with the movement. Nah, man, that's so true. Get with the movement. So, uh, you know, before we Free do head out, said. any last words that you have for the people? How can they reach you? Whether it be for a feature, uh, to collab, uh, my Instagram, anything. V Loners, V L O N E R R Z Z underscore V Loners. I respond. Yes, and features are cheap. Better come get them now before they go up. Oh, quick question as well. How did you get your name? V uh, so like, so at first my rap name was like Lil Zay Wavy because I was like Lil and I had waves and my name was Zay. Oh, okay. So then like I feel like probably like last year, like at the end of last year, around my birthday, 
I had changed my name because I was like, dang, like I'm kind of growing out of you. Like mm -hmm. it just felt still childish. And I was like, around that time, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't no like crazy emo boy, but I was like a little sad and I felt lonely yeah. around that time. I, I ain't want my name to be Zay no more. Like I wanted to change this like VLO or something. And people be thinking it's like V-Long. I wasn't thinking of V-Long oh. when I made my name. It was like VLO, VLO. And I was like, I'm a loner, loners. And I put it together, it was V-Loners. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like, I feel like, so it has I no like it V loan though. affiliation. It, no it was V loan you, affiliation. You you were doing. Your I, I like V loan though. Yeah. <laughs> Drip. <laughs> yeah. No, but Swag. but it, it's completely different thing that you were. Oh, hold on. Let me say this. V loan. We need to make a collab. V loaners. Be... Tom. V loan. Oh, that's hard. I mean, it's mm, the perfect thing man, to do now. What? Man, I got to. I want to make. I want to make clothes too. Like I want to make my own brand. Like they got nothing to do with my career though. Oh, okay. okay. I want. I, that's what I want to do. Yup. I want to. I want to make different ways of income too. Yup. That's what I want to do. Different businesses. And yep. stuff? Yup. Tell you I'm gonna be a boss. I'm telling you I'm gonna be a boss. What What type of business businesses are you trying to get into? Uh, so with my pops he's a chef. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna try to get in the food business with him. I'm getting that clothes business. I love fashion, even though like I'm basic dresser. I like dressing basic sometimes. Mm. Uh, music business, marketing business, managing business. What else business? Dang, what else? Movies, movies. I like movies. I want to oh, be. For real? I want to act in the movies sometimes. I want to act in a couple of movies. Like, bro, I could never. Be I feel like that. acting in a movie for your career will like bring you up so much. Like, yeah. oh, I saw him in a movie. They like your little part in the movie. They go listen to your song. They become a fan of your song. Just don't fuck it up, cause motherfuckers will clown you too. It's like, man, your acting was whack as fuck. Bro. I don't honestly. I don't care. Uh -huh. Bad pub bad pl bad publicity and mm -hmm. good publicity. Publicity. It's still the the eyes are on you. You gonna get the eyes. It's yeah. like what they be doing to YB in our mirror, like. I swear to God, everybody be hating on that bro, man. Every I, time. I, I don't know, but it's yeah. just me. I can't hate on him. I don't yeah. hate him. I mean, he probably did something weird, but uh, I don't hate him. But like you said, it's not it's, it's not like you're hating on the music type yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not know? hating on the music. But, it, but, it's, just but it's become a trend to hate on him. You know, it's yeah. not like and they I'll hate him because it. they, they uh, actually really hate him. It's like, oh, he dropped something. Let's go hate on it type shit. Right. My little brother had caught. My them in the interview. I'm sorry. Say, say what's up to the interview. I'm going to get out the phone, though. Uh. You ain't no music video. I said the interview, bro. <laughs> I said the interview. Say what's up to the interview. Show him the camera. Show him the camera right what's there. Up, <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I'm going to call you when I get home, though. Love you, bro. All right. X, 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 Tentacion, Dreads. All right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's my little brother. I love my little brother. Is he, is he your uh, biggest fan? Man. Or he yeah. be? He, he, he lead. That's all I would say. My little brother lead. Cause I feel like I feel like he still got a lot to learn though. Yeah. Yeah. He young though, so I don't really. Man, he still got a lot to learn though. Cause sometimes, cause I have a little brother too, and they little brothers are always like, "Man, I'm trying to be like you," you know. Yeah. 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 He got a lot to learn though. <laughs> yeah. I love my little brother though. They my man. I just wish I, I wish we could be around each other more. Cause I feel like mm -hmm. I wish I feel like. We didn't grow up around each other enough. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like I grew up around my sisters more, but I live with my sisters, so yeah. It's naturally, was yeah. It? I feel like when me and my brother grow up, though, we go spend more time together. No, oh, yeah. You know, sure. at the end of the world. No, yeah. For sure. Especially nowadays, like you're able to just like right now. Yeah. Quick FaceTime. Call. FaceTime. Sometimes he don't got no phone though. He be breaking his phone. He crazy oh, man. man. Crazy. I love him though. I love him. Love him. I can't. So once again, him, uh, the projects on the way. Yes, sir. Uh, Jug, Jug baby. baby on the way. Jug Baby on the way. I got like three, two music videos coming with it. So we active with that. Yep. Yep. All on that. the way. Now, and uh, I tell this to every artist, you know, anytime you have anything to promote, yes, sir. send it my way. Just make sure it's some good stuff. You know, I ain't trying to put no whack shit and of stuff course. like that. Of course. Uh, also, don't overflow. I like, I like how you being raw with that, too. Like, yeah, because, yeah. bro. Sometimes people they send me like just a text that they put on Instagram, yeah, and it's like something basic as fuck, and I'm like, right. why the fuck would I even? Man, but like what? an album, music video, uh, anything that you really 
are trying to promote and move so fashion so. if you if you start uh the brand and stuff like that you know so don't so. hesitate to send it my way so and so. promote it um you know we're here to help you out as much as we can Thank and we're locked in you know we Just, locked in for sure i'm gonna repost, yeah. repost all your stuff too i got you I appreciate got you, you bro and uh whenever jerk baby drops bro send it my way for sure I don't forget you. about that because i tell this to artists but they always be like Oh, bro, you should have posted this. I'm like, bro, like, you can't, I you so many can, I, yeah, yeah, it's so much stuff you gotta do. You can't just know, think that man, yeah, so always just DM stuff. it. You ain't nobody special. He got so many people, yeah, bro. I get like DMs like crazy, like of songs, of <laughs> let's link up, like interviews, blah, 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 yeah. all these things. So, you know, don't hesitate, but of course, especially because we're already had this interview, we're locked in, you know, of course. Um, cool, dude. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Get notified whenever we drop new content. Sure. And we out. Peace. We out. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah.